I guess it, oh yeah, no thanks. Do you believe in the concept of soulmates? Uh, no, not really. When you find the right girl who just seems to think the way you do and be into everything you're into, how could you not be meant for each other? Whatever. In a purely physical sense, do you feel like you have a type that attracts you? Uh, what's the hint? <laughs> Is there a correct answer? Well, there, like, attractiveness, like, there are some things that are, that catch your eye. There are some things that, like, you know, catch your eye, but that's not, like, you can find things that are attractive about someone that, that aren't, like, eye-catching, like, it, like, if they walk past you, you wouldn't think, wow, look at that. Um, so I guess to a degree is the, uh, yeah, well... I'm cool with- I'm not cool with anything, okay? I'm gonna tell the truth. I'm not cool with this, just anything. Uh, there are certain... <sighs> there are certain things that- certain character issues that manifest themselves physically. Uh, and I'm not gonna go into that on a video like this. You're flying solo on a Friday night. What are you going to be doing? Uh... I'm going to be gaming, playing uh, Pokemon. Yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. <laughs> what, what, what am I going to get? You are an incel. Sorry, no, uh, no type for you. Do you feel like men and women have different roles they need to play in a relationship? Is this a dirty question? Not really, that's a bit old-fashioned. Um, yes. Can I click that? How many times can I click that? Yes. Yes! Go away. I'm not getting paid. Best Buy paying me. Uh, do you feel jealous if the girl you're with has lots of friends you think she might find attractive? Yes. I want to be the only one that she's with. I don't want I don't want to have a girl that's with 10 guys at once. Like, oh well that's like that's so uh that's so possessive. You're so N number one, number one quality is commitment. That's number one. Loyalty. Those are the things that we care about. And I don't have any friends that I might think are attractive. She doesn't have to worry about that with me, and I would at least like that back. How many times a day is too many times to text the person you're seeing? Uh, you don't want to look clingy, right? Um, yeah, you don't want to look clingy. Uh, because, apparently, girls don't like that. Apparently, girls don't like it when you like them and want to talk to them. Girls are disgusted by that. Uh, um, actually, no, it's not. Uh, yes, yes it is, because, uh, like, it, sure, maybe that's not you, but, like, you can't tell me that I don't have experience. Is it cool if she orders a pizza and just assumes what toppings you want? Um, I'm happy that she got us food. I'm always down. Oh, well, I got anchovies and uh, ground up old tires on the top of the pizza. I give her a big kiss right on the cheek and say, thank you for getting some food. I'm starving. Uh, how many girls have you dated in your life so far anyway? Not very many because I'm not into spreading all this around. Uh, I am like gold. What's valuable about me is that there's not a lot of me to go around. Are you a kiss on the first date person? No! No kissing until marriage! What would you consider a terrible first date? None of these. Well, baseball game, because I wouldn't be enjoying- oh, dancing at a club? <sighs> dancing at a club would be awful. I'd rather- I'd rather go to a baseball game and we could, like, have fun laughing at people. We could go to a club and laugh at people, too. <laughs> but, but, you know, it implies dancing, so. Ever been accused of flirting even when you didn't think you were flirting? No. Even when I am flirting, no one accuses me of flirting. How many drinks do you think you have in a week? Once every month or two. Yeah. 
Well, are you talking about alcohol, right? Very few. I actually don't like alcohol. It tastes bad. Don't like it. Like, if they made it taste good, maybe, but nope. What are you going to be doing first if the two of you hit up the fair together? Why are we going to the f like, What's there at the fair? We pay $20 to get in, and then $10 for a thing of fries that's this big. Why would we do that? I'll make us I'll make us some fried food. Oh, a roller coaster. I don't like going on roller coasters. Uh because they're paying some guy seven dollars an hour to set up that roller coaster. I'm not going on that. Just just not too long ago, someone went on a ride at uh, my local fair and they got in a, they were in a helicopter ride, crashed and died. So I guess we're walking around. Look at all this stuff. Like, I don't like doing anything. Front row concert? If you're at an outdoor concert, where are we going to... What are we going to find you doing? Uh, you know what? On a blanket sounds good. Do you prefer a girl to make the first move on you or the other way around? You know what? Well, it's the 21st century and, um, women are complete equals to men. Uh... And I think that it's time to reverse the gender roles. I think uh, it's sexist to expect women to sit back and do nothing uh, and expect the man to do everything. It's sexist to let the man do everything. So I think the woman should should the the, the woman should should have the right to make the first move. Um, yeah. Do you like a girl who can dance? No. Where's no? There's doesn't matter and I don't care. No! Where's the no? <sighs> I guess that's no. Oh, I'm not much of a dancer. What is it? A romantic walk on the beach is kind of a cliche date. Oh, romantic walk on the beach? What, so we could step on glass? Yeah, no thanks. S stepping on... Broken seashells and smelling uh, the chum in the air. Maybe it's a private, uh, well-taken-care-of beach, so maybe. This thing is long. Are you interested in double dates with another couple of friends? Yeah. Yeah, you know what? Sounds fun. If she's with her friends, she's more at ease. If I'm with my friends, I'm more at ease. So, if there's more people to go around and play off of, she'll she'll show more of herself than she probably you know than she would if she was just with you, and you might show more of yourself. There might uh, you know you might get to showcase more of your personality because you're both nervous, and so yeah, sounds like fun. Uh. Yeah, I'm down for cooking meals with uh, my girl. It depends on how competent she is, though, because some girls are not <laughs> not competent. Oh, what do I do? How do I hold this knife? Oh, um, can I just do it on the cast iron like this? So, oh, what do you mean? What do you mean I can't put aluminum foil in the microwave? I mean, it happens. Sorry, but they say opposites attract. I don't know. What would be the opposite of me? Please don't answer that. Let's say your family absolutely hates the girl you're with. Yeah, that could be an issue. Um... You know, I don't... see that happen. Like, what am I gonna do? Like... date one of my friend's exes or something? Am I going to do something scummy like that? No. Um, but yeah. If they don't like them, that could be an issue. Uh, because family is important. And if things go full circle, uh, I want to be able to bring her around my family for holidays and events. Because family is absolutely important. It's not something you should disregard. Even if you don't like your family, family is still important. Have you ever been cheated on in the past? I hope not! You tell me! 
Huh? You tell me. I don't understand cheating. Like, why don't you just... I just don't... Like, just dump them. I mean, that's that's still scummy. It's just as scummy. But at least, like, you're being honest. It's scummy to dump someone so you can go out with someone else. How many times have you been in love? Uh, well, I don't know. Not many, because, honestly... Now that, like, my brain is fully developed and my hormones have leveled out, like, I'm just not impressed. Not impressed. Girls that, like, I would lose sleep over in high school, I think back, I'm like, what was I doing? What was I thinking? Hormones, man. Hormones uh, drive you crazy. Do you need someone else? Do you need someone else to be happy? Now, what does this mean? Do I need someone else? Do I need them to be happy? Or do I need them in my life so that I'm happy? Very poorly worded question. You get zero points. May God have mercy on your soul. Um, but if it's, it's... I think they're saying, do I need someone in order for myself to be happy? That's no. But if I'm with someone, I need them to be happy. Like, that is... For, for men, that is the the thing that gives us life, that gives us energy, is seeing a, our woman happy. Would you move across the country to be with the girl of your dreams? Maybe. Across the country to, like, the Pacific uh, Northwest? No. Hell no! Not doing that. Uh, but, like, to... Like, Montana, maybe. I live in the Northeast United States, so... Um, uh, would you ever go to couples therapy if your relationship was on the rocks? I feel like I'd be open to it because I feel like, I don't know, for me, commitment's a big thing. Like your ability to be loyal to someone. Uh, but, like, if you just hate each other, you just hate each other. I don't know. There's some, there's some differences that, that can't be reconciled. Uh, but if we're married, like, that's it. Like, marriage is for life. You don't just, you don't just dump someone because you're on the rocks. How much time are you willing to put into pursuing someone who isn't into you at first? No. Nope. If they don't understand, then why am I? Uh, but, you know, I might, I'll try to talk to them and, like, see what they're into. But I'm so bad at conversation. Like, oh, uh... And, like, my... my I tr I'm trying to be unique. I'm trying to ask, like, deep questions. And they're always like, oh, well, what do you mean? I'm like, honestly, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Do you like a girl with body mods like piercing or tattoos? Within reason. Uh, earrings are fine. It depends. I, f I feel like if she's going for like the whole goth thing, then maybe it's fine. But like if she's just a regular girl and like has a dumb sleeve with like My Little Pony on it, that's, that is incredibly gay. Um, actually, My Little Pony had a very, uh, big impact on my life. No, it looks bad, it looks bad. Sorry. Oh, and absolutely no septum piercing. If you want to tell someone, hey, I'm a stupid thought, get a septum piercing. How's your relationship with your exes? Don't have a relationship with them. I just don't get that. I don't get how you could be like, oh, yeah, well... You're repulsive. I don't see there's any way for us to ever be together. I don't like you. I don't want to be with you. I don't want to talk to you. And then I can be like, cool. Uh, so you want me up for coffee? Like, why would I, why would I do that? Like, no, you, you cut me out of your life. So why would I, why would I still want to talk to you? Like, you've told me you don't want me. So what, what's the point? Uh, yeah, I meet new people through friends. 
And my friends are only friends with guys. So, explains uh, my position. With all the emphasis there seems to be on couples going out and doing things and having all these adventures and moments and so on, there's something to be said for a desire to just be happy together because you're together. You meant to be with a really chill girl, the kind who is okay with a quiet night in or just doing low-key stuff that doesn't require a lot of excitement. I didn't say any of that. I just said I don't want to do uh, hard drugs. I don't want to get high on black tar heroin with her. That means that I want to stay inside and do nothing? I don't like doing anything. Honestly. Oh, do you like going, uh, do you like, uh, going out and shooting up heroin? No. Well, then you need a chill girl. Oh, great. Chill girls are cringe. No, maybe they're not. Maybe they're okay.